mais accueille quand même Monsieur Benoît Pétré qui va faire le modérateur. Voilà, je vous fais un gros bisou à tous, passez une super bonne soirée. Merci. Putain, je l'ai en zoom sur ma... T'es sérieux ça va Oh my god C'est sérieux, tu m'as parlé de quoi Bonsoir Vous me connaissez moins, c'est sûr Ben non I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. Aww. It's such an honor for me to meet you. Both, sorry. <laughs> and uh, um, I have a few questions for you both. And uh, obviously we will we, we give the mix to other people for you. Don't traduit pas, ça vaut pas l'anglais, non? So my first question is before, uh, after uh, seeing this movie, uh, did you, um, when did you meet together? Did you know each other before the movie? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, we met um, when you came to read for the movie. I'm wearing the wrong dress. To be <laughs> 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 That's right. That's right. Um, I'm trying the best. No, we met when you came to read, and it was an instant magical chemistry. <laughs> um, anyway. um, Uh, you know, it was, um, I, I, I think um, both Kristen and I subscribe to the same uh, beliefs, I guess, as far as performance is concerned, or, or I'll flatter myself in thinking <laughs> that at least. Um, so I think we kind of vibe together on a lot of performance things, and uh, it seemed very natural. To me, at least, I'm glad Kristen agreed, but I just came in for a day. I was actually coming from a Harry Potter convention. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was I was playing there, but I was also attending. It was kind of both. But I was at a Harry Potter convention. It was a leaky con. I assume some of you were there. And I had to leave early to go up to meet Kristen on a on a Sunday, um, and then I went right back to to going to work. And uh, the rest is history. It was a very quick meeting, and uh, I think it turned out okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, you knew each other work before you met. Okay. And Kristen, there's a first question for you. I know you you, lo you did a lot of different jobs before being an actress, right? And uh, did you ever wanted to be an actress or? Uh... <laughs> first of all, you're doing a very good job now. Oh. Ben, everybody. <laughs> I was really, really young, I wanted to. I mean, I like, you know, performed in front of the mirror and like sang into a hairbrush and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I didn't get into it until much later in life. Um, <laughs> I'm 64. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I got into it kind of late, but I think I in me and I really wanted to do it. I just didn't know that I. Good, I, guess. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of theater. No, I mean I did like improv, yeah. sketch stuff for a few years, but that's about it. How are you doing tonight, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Is it okay? That way. Um, Chris. Um, <laughs> it's a <laughs> uh, last week. Uh, <laughs> shut up. Just call me Wig the rest of the time. Chris. Chris and Wig. Yes. <laughs> You, you, you've been on stage since your uh, I have left a few times to go to sleep and eat. And <laughs> I, I was, I did do some, I did a lot of theater stuff, yes, growing up. Yeah, but uh, was it, uh, the question was, wasn't finished. <laughs>
sorry, Steve. <laughs> Was, um, was it your will to be an actor like uh, 10 years ago? Uh, yeah, I've Ten always, um, I'm very lucky in the sense that I always had a very specific goal ever since I was a kid, which uh, as I got older I realized I was kind of in the minority because a lot of people, and, and it's, which is perfectly fine, I'm, I'm the rare sort of freakazoid that has always wanted to be one thing. Um, it wasn't, I always liked music as well, so I liked playing music, but I, I had a very distinct memory. I grew up in San Francisco, and uh, a very sort of big figure in San Francisco was Robin Williams, because um, his, he, he lives there, and his kids go to school there, and to school with his kids. And Mrs. Doubtfire was shot there. So, so the, Robin Williams has a big presence there, if you're familiar with Robin Williams, obviously a great actor. Also the voice of a iconic Disney character, the genie from Aladdin. And I remember seeing Aladdin, and looking around the audience, seeing how, and I wasn't this articulate when I was a child, but I remember very distinctly thinking, oh, this is so cool that all these strangers are friends for two hours, and that everyone's experiencing this communal, kind of cathartic experience um, via this genie. Well, hot damn, I want to be a genie. <laughs> and then I found out that Rob Williams was an actor, so I was like, okay, I want to be an actor. And that was a very instant, so ever since then I've been like, studying and training. <laughs> Je voulais faire un abrégé du coup de vie. Donc euh, la question, la première question était de savoir s'ils se connaissaient déjà. Euh, ce n'était pas le cas, ils se sont rencontrés pour la première fois lors de la première lecture euh, du scénario. Euh, Darren était auteur et il avait dû euh, partir tôt. Euh, C'était un dimanche. Il Kristen et faire cette première lecture et euh, comme ils partagent les mêmes valeurs éthiques un peu au niveau du travail euh, ils se sont tout de suite euh, entendus il y a une vraie alchimie au niveau du travail entre eux euh, donc ce qui a permis euh, ce film donc, Kristen de savoir si elle avait toujours voulu être euh, une actrice euh, à vrai dire elle, a, elle est arrivée assez tard dans le, dans ce, dans le monde du métier euh, elle a commencé par le théâtre en faisant beaucoup d'improvisation euh, mais c'est que beaucoup plus tard qu'elle a eu cette, cette vocation euh, lui, par contre, il fait partie de ces gens qui ont toujours voulu, euh, qui ont toujours su qu'ils voulaient faire quelque chose euh, dans la vie. Euh, Ce n'était pas forcément être acteur, ça pouvait être aussi... <rire> She's making all of this up. <rire> euh, notamment, une de ses... son admiration pour euh, l'acteur Robin Williams, qui, euh, la version originale en tout cas, joue la voix du génie dans le dessin animé à Aladdin. Et euh, il se souvient donc d'une expérience d'être allé voir euh, le dessin animé et euh, d'avoir trouvé euh, cette, euh, le fait d'être en communion finalement et être euh, tous ensemble à regarder et apprécier un même film. Il a trouvé ça absolument génial et il est ressorti de là en se disant « je veux être un génie dans la vie <rire> ». Ensuite il s'est rendu compte que le génie c'était la voix de Robin Williams qui était un acteur et donc de là il s'est dit « ah finalement je vais être un acteur ». Il euh, travaille euh, et s'entraîne pour, euh, pour justement euh, atteindre cet objectif. Bravo <rire> Yeah, you speak French, right? Not so enough. <laughs> Not enough. Yeah. It's better in English. I wouldn't embarrass myself. People actually speak French here. <laughs> if this was an American audience, they'd go, oh, he's so, so <laughs> But no, I... Yeah, exactly. Any, only people from Long Island come. Okay. But no, not English would be better, if you don't mind. You'll, you'll... It's okay. Kristen. You're a woman, right? <laughs> Question, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no, the thing is, um, you are the funniest woman in the world, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, how do you. Um, what the? <laughs> how do you do to be this powerful in this really ballsy Hollywood man world? <laughs> <laughs> no, Hollywood is a really ballsy, you know. Yeah, like man, man yeah, man of a place, you know. And you, you, uh, yeah. I mean, you are um, a, a powerful woman in the industry, you know. <laughs> no, but how do you manage to be like, as a woman, uh, a producer, a writer, yeah. like an actor, and uh, 
Wow. <laughs> Hard answer. Um, I don't know. You know I just did you do you understand my, my question? I, I do. Okay. I think I do. Well, I'll answer it, then you tell me. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. I feel like so many things. I sort of after you guys don't get Saturday Night Live here, but yes. um, that was really my start. And after that, I had more opportunities. Should I be, do you wanna, should I, do you keep going? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, had more opportunities and I just really like all aspects of it. I like producing and having a part in what the movie ends up like and acting of course and writing and I don't, I don't know. I, I don't really know how I got That's here. Okay. <laughs> because uh, there's uh, plenty of men, uh, comedian uh, in France and and when you're a woman, I think it's uh, you have to have guts to, to work as you do. That was my question. Okay, thank you. Bon, la question vous l'avez tous toutes compris, c'est Christine est considérée peut être considérée comme surtout la dans le cinéma. Et donc, comment dans un monde comme celui d'Hollywood qui est surtout dominé par les hommes, comment une femme comme elle peut, comment on arrive à s'imposer quand on est une femme? Alors la réponse, elle ne la connaît pas forcément, mais Christine a débuté dans Saturday Night Live, que donc certains connaissent, et euh, au fur et à mesure pour, euh, de, de travail, et euh, elle aime à, à la production, donc savoir euh, la, le, pouvoir être impliquée sur toute la, la durée de, de la production d'un film, et bien sûr euh, être actrice, écrire aussi, donc elle aime toucher à tout. Chris, <laughs> I know I know why you're such uh, why why she's done so well. It's because she's an amazing actress and an amazing like worker. She's being Aww. humble. She's an executive producer yeah. on the film, Aww. and it's, really, uh, it's funnier than most men. And also has a, an extraordinary attention to execution and detail, and knows when to say no and how to say yes. And uh, that lends itself into a lot of things, both in the business world and as being, you know, as literally swimming upstream as a female, you know, star in, in, a, in a man's world of comedy. So I think all those skills are very obvious to why, so why you are who you are. It just makes perfect sense to me. So, yeah. <laughs> Exécutive. Euh... <rire>